We're live. Hello? Okay. I must have lost old Vincent on the call already. Well, I guess he's having trouble finding his way to the dork table on this Saturday morning, afternoon, evening in uh, Radio Land on the real liberty media dot com. <clears throat> He says I got him, but I can't hear anything he's saying. Let's see what's going on. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm going to stall here for a second. Ah, Skype cut out. Let's see what the hell's going on now. Anyway, we're going to do a dork table here when I can get my act together. Somehow I seem to have shut old Vincent down. Not sure how I did that, but we're dinging, dinging back into Vincent Land. Ah. Oh, maybe he got bumped, but it killed my Skype. Right. He's not answering. So here we go with a new dark table for, uh, where are we at? August the 25th of 2018. And this is Flash somebody waiting on Vinny to call in. And in the meantime, I'll entertain you with hellos and goodbyes. Let's see. What do we got? We got the, we got Grim putting us all over the place. Uh, Mary and Hal Anthony and all them. I'll keep up with it. All I can really seem to remember is Spreaker <laughs> and RLM. And that's about, oh, he's having a Skype update. And he's having trouble on the uh, Skype. So, I'll kill my Skype. Well, I guess it don't matter. I just won't have him on. Anyway, so we're going to start out with the hellos and say hey to Barman, Grimner, Miss Kate, Phantom, Anti, Asmo, Bethzy, Chloe, Chalcedony, Chalcedony, we got a double dip Hmm. Circle, hello, honey. She's out walking the dog, though. And we got another Chloe, so we got Chloe, Chloe. Colfax, 101. And Cyborg Noodle, Don C, Dakota, Echelon, me, flash somebody, Frumpy, Gramsy, Gromit, Hall Whopper. Hmm. That's an interesting one. I never seen that before. I be Don C, Java Doctor 2, J's, Nines J's, Wanna Taco, Kozu, Meister Bro, hey Woody, mm -hmm. and then we got the Pox Box Fied Phone Sauce, all the way to Rain, <coughs> and of course the, the RLM Fluke is available somewhere. Hey, Rob works. The bubbler is here. And then Sock and his pastry talk. Hmm. Wonder what that was all about. And we got, ah, Skittle, the fuckbot. Trust number one. And the one and only, Vin E. F4CZ98. <laughs> that was, that was just to be funny, but. Wow, we were having all kinds of fun in the RLM chat before the dork table takeoff today. Me and uh, some of the guys were clowning around about statist voting and your rats and your lefts and your centers and all this other crap these people seem to believe is real. I don't get it. I mean... You know, I can look around and I can see shipping containers and big buildings and I understand things took time and a lot of bodies to get here. But what I don't seem to be able to communicate to anybody else, except for a very select few, is that all this stuff was all delivered to us under the lies and deception. We weren't told the truth about anything and still aren't. Well, well it, I don't know. Now the big thing is to hate Russia again. I thought we were over that. Hey, I got a well-done flash from um, Sock Puppet. I have no idea what I did, but I'm 
trying to do it. Oh, yeah, I'm doing the show by myself. Yeah, that's uh, because uh, my partner is having... <laughs> He's having Skype problems. Five minutes before the show. That's why I try to tell people, you know, get a hold, of, get a hold of me about a half hour. So that if there's going to be any shit, we can deal with it before we go live. But hey, Vinny doesn't listen to you when you tell him what time it is. Settings on Skype. Vinny says, Ah, oh, he's so afraid. What's up, baby? Yeah, Vinny's having trouble. I'm telling my wife, people. Vinny's having trouble getting on Skype, so I'm doing this act alone. So if you'll get me my pants, I can get... Fin <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> get your own pants. <laughs> you know, one thing that came to mind listening to uh, other people talk is we manipulate the group with words. In our own, each of us does it in our own special little way. And some people have a way of getting the attention of the crowd. And some people don't. You know, Some people just blend into the crowd and, and they're comfortable with that. Other people like to stand on top of somebody else's shoulder, pour ketchup all over their self, add some gasoline, and then smoke a cigarette. And we have one of those. <laughs> we have one of those kind of people that hangs around at the Real Liberty Media, where basically it's like, hey, we're a bunch of people trapped in this freaking authority game, and if if we play at all, we play against our free will. So, <clears throat> I don't think we, too many of us consider this any, any form of freedom at all. So, I've settled for just accepting that I'm not free, and trying to make my prison as comfortable as possible. There's not too many other choices as far as I can tell. But then again, what do I know? Ah, 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 ah. Boy, this is stalling for you, Vinny. You dipshit. Because you wouldn't get on earlier and sort all this out first. I'm going to have to replace Vinny or, or just do this alone. Cirque says to shoot him, but I don't have a gun. So what do I shoot him with, Cirque? I'll use my love bombs. <laughs> mm. Oh, see, let's see. I'm going to read the chat and see what's going on. Uh, no, that's about buying something. Oh, Sock Puppet says to me, certainly was an attempt to manipulate last night. You know, when you can't stand up with what you say, you double talk and you bullshit and you blame and you, you call everybody names and, and that makes it all go, you know, work. That's how the game is played. We all know how the game's played. But what's funny is, is that five-year-old in the room that thinks the rest of us don't know how the game is played, but they do. <laughs> and they're, they're not doing anything that the adult can't foresee coming. And wow. I guess some people just never grow beyond five or six. I mean, geez, when I was a little kid, my father used to make fun of me as when I was older about it. He says, I used to try to sneak into the living room where the him and mom were watching TV after bedtime. And because I was hiding behind the chair, I didn't know they could see me. <laughs> but I couldn't see the TV unless I was in a place for them to see me. But too young to really understand the the whole process of it well maybe not but that's just for you dear my my wife is interjecting in in a <laughs> in Vinny's absence poor Vinny mm. he did the worst show I've ever heard him do yesterday because his equipment sucked and I, I wanted to premise it with his equipment because I, I like listening to Vinny. I like talking with Vinny. He's a lot of fun on the radio program. But when his equipment sucks, and it sometimes does, <laughs> it's hard to really get involved in the show and enjoy it. So, boo on you for last night's show, Vinny the Pooh. And what else have we got going on? Just the, the usual... Uh, I'm better than you, and I know shit, and everybody else is stupid kind of crap that we live among. And, wow, it was really good. It was old when we, you know, it was old when we got here and did it, but 
it's really old now and and i don't see a way to stop this it's like a runaway train but instead of crashing into something it just for years and years and years it's just constantly running and i think we fuel it on our collective stupidity it must run off the tears that are created from the inoculations maybe from the bank loans <laughs> and i've told this before I used to have a close friend that was a bartender. And when I met her, I didn't even want to talk to her. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Anyway, the kid kept bugging me, and finally we became friendly. And, and as the years went on, I had a relative friend of mine get involved in a real estate uh, program and decided she wanted to be a realtor. And then after getting the books and seeing what they were, decided, I don't want no part of this. Well, the bartender heard that from me bitching about it and said, hey, I could give real estate a, a give give that a shot. And to this day, she's still a real estate broker in uh, North Carolina, but doesn't know a fucking thing about money, doesn't have any concern or interest in politics, but is involved in the most important business transaction that people can make buying a home. And... That is how the world is actually run. But we don't really see that. We think, we assume a lot of stuff. You know, oh yeah. Well, if you're selling real estate, you must know the process. Well, they know the process of selling the real estate. They don't need to know where the money comes from. Probably not even an interesting part of that job to that kind of salesman in the first place. But we all get had in the lung run by the man except for maybe Hansel because Hansel thinks he is the man <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at you Hansel but damn sometimes you are um what is the right word funny because you know we're on the radio and I don't want to call you bad names on the radio I'd rather do that in the chat room it's more fun to see it in type kind of gives it a temporary reality that words just don't justify if you know what i mean no tesla deal musk backpedals furiously friday night well you know if you guys haven't learned that these corporations hire a front man like what's his name bill gates or uh who's that other idiot that jerk water out of facebook uh zuckerberg or now this e elon what's his name uh, Musk, Elon, 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 some stupid form of Leon. Anyway, this guy is not deciding fucking anything. No one person decides, and it's just like being a POTUS. It's a bunch of bullshit. But luckily for the POTUS, we're a bunch of dumbasses, and we believe it. But if you think back, we saw Kennedy get shot by his own fucking people. But we're convinced that we didn't see what we saw. And it was all done by the Russians. Lee Harvey Oswald with a magic bullet from a magic rifle. And here we are all these years later. And we know this shit. And still people are fucking out there supporting these goddamn governments. I can't figure it out. I'm at a loss for twinkly thoughts when it comes to why do people not resist at least if you're not you know if i'm not ballsy enough to go out there and protest and draw that kind of shit attention to myself but what i do is stay out of the mix as much as i can hmm. maybe that's not the attractive part because uh, a lot of people they hold stock in things like being remembered for some great achievement yeah like tesla you know, the guy that everything electronic that we use to this day revolves around the shit that he discovered 150 years ago. And it's not been so much improved upon as it has been aged. You know, as you age something, it gets better. So, you know, I look at this uh, information age. Just, it's similar to a dream <laughs> you know it's it's real to a point and then there's parts that that we're being told that just aren't true and i don't think that 
as kids in school were taught to stop and look at the results of a situation and then backtrack that and try to figure out, well, if it got this way, how did it get this way? What I decided with government is the only explanation for all the fuck-ups in government is that is how government is designed to function. Yet, with all the disgrace of government over the last couple hundred years, people still follow this mentality around like it's, uh, like it's worth defending. And it's nothing. It's a mouthful of words. You might as well be reading a grocery list. It has no value in a singular way. The, I can't even really figure out, without the guns and the bombs and the airplanes and all that shit, you really don't have anything. You got a mouthful of threat, but you do have it backed up by an arsenal full of fucking weapons. Thank you, Israel. <laughs> oh, and my people, thank you for the checks, too, by the way. Just in case you didn't know you were appreciated. Mm. I read that a Jew's life ain't half as tough as an American's life because, uh, well, you guys give them $38 billion a year and they spend about. 8% of that bomb in Palestine. If they bombed Palestine any faster, it would have been gone 10 years ago. So they got to slow cook this fucking Palestine thing and milk everybody for all these billions of fucking dollars to steal land that never belonged to them. And the world sits back and applauds them as they do it. It's very sickening to watch this crap. And even worse, I grew up in a family that one of the parents thought that the Jews could do no wrong. I mean, hey, look at me. <laughs> How could they create something so fucking wonderful as me and be bad people? <laughs> uh, that aged, yeah, compared to my childhood sock, sure. When I was young, uh, I had no clutch and no concern either. I wasn't afraid of shit. Yeah. Um so the fear fear came with late twenties I started to realize you can get killed doing this crap. Maybe uh may, may, late mid twenties, twenty six, twenty seven. Anyway. Yeah, I figured out could end up dead doing the crazy shit that I had been doing. And pretty much finally gave it up at about twenty eight, twenty nine forever. But dabbled a little, you know. I like to live on the edge of, I don't know, what do you call it, society. Not really in it, not really out of it, like a spectator. Really enjoy going down into town and sitting on the main street, the cafe. You know, it's a bar, cafe thing. And just sitting there and watching all the people with their kids and their families going on. And sometimes people will chitter-chatter with me about whatever's going on at the moment. And sometimes just sit there and... Just enjoy the fucking day, and I don't. I don't think it's that uncommon here. I see other people that do. That's probably where I got the the wherewithal to actually sit down out there and drink beer in the public, and not be afraid of somebody coming and harassing me or harassing me about doing. Oh, what are you doing? And why are you doing it? And uh Vinny, Colin, flash somebody. I'm gonna give. Old Vinny, I stalled. I didn't know what the fuck to talk about today. Let me get this boy back on the phone. That was my mental rhapsody for the moment. And we're up calling old Vincent right now. Beep, 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 beep. Answer the phone, you monkey. Boop, beep, boop, beep. Boop, beep, beep, beep. I think we've, we've uh. successfully, you yeah. know. Come I, together for Congress. I can hear you. Can they hear you in the RLM world of chat and other stuff? That's what They'll we want to know. They'll, They'll have, have to because I have no idea. I've just been... You did me again, man. I wasn't ready for a solo. I was going to do a solo Tuesday night, but not well, today. Today, uh, I had my plans to talk to you, senor. My uh, thing quit, man. My sound got <laughs> Let me get this thing out of the way here. Well, you sound better today than you did yesterday. God, that was the worst quality show you've done ever. 
Really? I haven't yeah, listened to it. I got no, it wasn't the content. It was the quality of the recording. You had a hum in the back. It was driving me. I was going mad. I was yelling at my screen. Huh. Well, I was going through the sound blaster. This is straight through the computer. So is this uh, you this sound, much better? You sound good to me. Let's mm. wait on a ruling from the uh, occupied audience in the RL and M. But you never know. Anyway, I yeah, I wasn't really uh, prepared to do a solo thing today. So I'm glad you're here. Good, good. You know what? We got one minute for preparation here. Wow, what are you putting on preparation H? Yes, it's uh, four twenty somewhere in uh, oh, less than one I minute. See that. Um, but are 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 the people going to save you? Yeah, will, will, will the government yes, save you? Yes, but first of all, we must uh, commune together. Lighting, sir. Wait, wait! You got to wait for eleven four twenty. There it is. Go. I okay. wait for no hey. man. Hey, Dork Cakes is here. Yay Whoa. for the cakes! Yay I'm for the cakes! You, Thank you, cake too. Haven't seen him for a few weeks, so I thought maybe no. he was busy. Well, he disappears and does projects. You know, weekends tied up and away from a computer and can't get to it, so he's. He's not available. And then every now and again, he shows up at the dork table to show us that he's alive. Yes, a world traveler, dork cake. Oh, man. Ew. In what ways, a great guy. You, yeah. The guy is definitely unique. Yeah, he makes Hansel look kind of boring. But the sad part is we get Hansel and, and we don't get cakes. People like cakes don't you know, don't hang around. But, listen, you're you're messing with my money, man. How so, man? Well, I'm getting paid by Hans to uh, oh. take his side in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Uh, so you work? Uh, never mind. I ain't going to finish that joke. Yeah. Well, yeah. listen. Uh, yes, you, you can uh, you, refer to us now as the coalition. You work for sex, huh? No, no, no. How's he paying I, you? In rupees? I, I can't discuss that. It's classified information. Okay, Miss Kate says, Vince is a little louder than Flash. Now, it wouldn't be because my volume on my controls is up higher, would it? Because I don't, I don't think that changes anything. But Well, that would make you higher than me yeah, louder. if that yeah. were the case. So I don't yeah. know. I, I think you're higher, thinking that you're higher than I. <laughs> no, a little louder, you. Dork. Oh, she said louder, not higher. Oh, never You're mind. Always wait a minute. Now we get all backwards. Uh, yep. Fuck the sound blaster. Says Rob works. Yeah, I guess it's lived its life. I don't uh, know. It must be. Dork must be cakes. taking a poopy. Dork cakes is probably cooking one of his neighbors. Oh. Uh, he says yeah. listening while cooking. Uh -huh. I saw. I saw that TV show Hannibal. That's what's gonna happen <laughs> wow. to you promise yeah really yeah it's because you lack to prepare did you get that link i sent you it's a, a audio uh, uh zombie apocalypse book it was it was really really good it was like a it was written in a diary fashion and uh no, uh, he didn't. went through all all types of survival situations and uh what ifs and mm -hmm. It was like when the zombie apocalypse broke out. It was like a combination zombie apocalypse, and they had these like giant spider things that were eating people for a while. But I probably fell asleep ooh, when ooh. they said what they were, so I missed that part. <sighs> yeah, you people do not seem to realize I don't give a fuck about no zombie apocalypse. I don't I, care. I don't give a shit if the world blows up to <clears throat> fucking night. It doesn't matter to me. It matters to all you listen, guys, but I don't listen, give a fuck. Listen, listen, no, do, don't listen tell to me, me what to do, man. Listen, You're scaring listen. me. Get my safety zone. I, I, need you, I need you to do humanity a favor. <laughs> I, I want you to start eating a little bit more uh, and put on some weight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. You know You know why? Yeah. No, why? No, you tell me why. You don't, don't know, know why, shit. really? Nah, I so, don't know why. <laughs> look, it'll go farther when they distribute it amongst the... the <laughs> the family next door oh maybe it is me okay sock puppet says or rob works says i need to crank it up turn me up and see if that because 
No, no, I don't. It's not my. Uh, my hardware is fine. I just might have had a setting. I had been playing with my uh, thing on the <laughs> microphone. I got this button thing. I'm and, prepped, dude. Yeah, but I, I, I fumble with it like some kind of 15-year-old. Don't get why. I know better, and I do it anyway. <laughs> so I try to keep my hands busy with marijuana, but I always end up pushing buttons anyway. Hmm. Go figure. Let me ask everybody in chat who can uh, who can survive forty days of uh, uh, grid down situation. Who's prepared? Who's prepared to live forty days? I I think that the city that I live in is prepared to live longer than that without the outside world after after a period of time. I think it may be twenty four forty eight hours, and in well, that I kind can... of in that kind of time. The locals know each other enough to know who does what the best and get shit running. Well, that's the hope for humanity, yeah. No, that's the reality that I visually see with my fucking eyes. By your perception. Yeah, because, okay, I'll give you an example. Down at the train station, they had this big project to improve the fucking parking lot. Hold on, let me me stop you and interrupt you right there. You got your harmonica with you? No. Yeah, yeah, I need you to get it because we're gonna write a song. Oh. Down at the train station. Yeah, that's work. yeah. But down at the train station, they got uh, the tiles. You know the well, stone tiles. No, Hold you on, stop. Wait, let me make my point. <laughs> they got the they got the stone tiles. So they got the uh, masons out here. Whatever the Danish version of mason is, and some of these kids don't look old enough to pee without a fucking grown up watching them yet, but. They get in these tractors and they jump in and out and they whiz around the park, you know, and they do their shit. They know what they're doing. So that tells me if the young ones are already learning the adults' businesses and ways of working, that this place is unique. Because these are old fucking ways that they've been handed down from generation to generation for years. You give and a lot of credit to humanity. Though. I've watched it uh, because I end up in, in a place that is so one of a kind, I can't explain it to anybody. Oh, or so maybe just or, where you're at. But if I, you were like in L.A., what 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 would you think? Oh, I'd, I left L.A. <laughs> screaming in 2002, the last time I was there. I went, no, I'm done with this. Don't want to live here no more. What is that noise? Me drinking or the movie that I got playing in the background. Oh, as a movie, it wow. sounded like Siren. No, oh, wait a minute. Let me back back mask. up here. How, how's uh, this volume now, Rob? I, I backed away from the mic. Oh, I wanted the go. mic right up my uh, keister. Or, no, where I talk no. from. Oh, yeah, your shithole. <laughs> I break bad on you. Hey, I'm gonna tell Anthrax where you <laughs> live. Don't mess with me, boy. I got connections. Right. <laughs> I got to reposition my <laughs> boom over here. Really? Yeah. So uh, reposition. Right. So what went wrong with your original plan that you had to get Grim to help you out? Well, I uh, Skype made me update, and uh, mm-hmm. when I did, it didn't work no more. Uh, see, that's why a half hour before the show was kind of smart, you bonehead. Keep telling you that. How many years? I started. I started a half an hour before did you the really? show. Yes, uh, I couldn't the, even get a hold of you. Okay. Yeah, it was I've, stupid. I, I felt sad because you weren't there. I was like mm. trying to call you. Mm. It's like flash. I flash. know. I know. Save me. Save me. Oh, I hear it all the time. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't seen that kid with the flash shirt yet. Again, only saw him the one time. Huh? Did you say how you? What are you doing with my shirt on? I saw the strangest thing looking out the window today of my living room. You did? Yes, I did. Now, I'm going to describe it to you, and I'm going to ask you, after you hear what it is, tell me your first reaction. Okay? <clears throat> now, what I saw is very simple. Three kids, two on bicycles, and the kid in the back running along with them instead of double riding on a bike. Okay, and what's uh, your question? Wow, does that sound normal? When was the last time you saw it? They couldn't have been 10 or 11 years old. Oh, oldest, man. Right? And the two kids, on, and they weren't dro- riding their bikes so fast the kid was struggling. They were in, they were like 
together in a group, and the kid in the back was running. And she had a backpack on. Couldn't have been maybe 10 or 11. It's good for him. Well, so I, here's Yeah, but what's the first it, thought? I, I was thinking, like, if it was me, I'm like, you're not riding with me. Get your own bicycle. Well, I thought more of it like, well, if they the kid that didn't have a bike instead of complaining, they they all compromised <clears> and just kept a speed where they could make it where they're going together without doubling up on one of the bikes. Could okay. be a rule around here too. I I don't very often I don't think I've seen anybody riding double on a bike. Is that a rule around here you can't do that? Uh, maybe against the law, you know, like seat belts or something. Or yeah, something that the grown-ups <clears throat> prefer the kids didn't do. Well, it's a windy road we live on too, so these kids could get fucked up riding double on a bike. I don't know how it'd be any more diff, you know, dangerous than single, but you know, grown-ups can be but the thing was to see a kid running <laughs> with the two other kids and everybody was just going to where they're going. I haven't seen kids this active uh, as they are here since I was probably a kid. Wow. Sounds oh, like shit. A, yeah. I spent my like first 10, did. my first 10 and 15 years in water and on bicycles. Hey, what? Keep, keep the mic. ba ba da 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 Oh, this Ready? is horrible. Socks, will you play it and I'll sing it? Socks no. Oh. Down at the train station. <laughs> well, there right you down the bus. Oh, uh, no, Wes. Hey, way, but I ain't going to fuss. Yeah, but look who showed up. We got us a uh, Meister Brow in the room. Oh, Chat away. Closet liberal bra. Yeah, turn, that's it. turn your head and cough. <coughs> he should call in and you guys could argue about liberal politics on the Dork Table program. What do you oh, think? Oh, I don't, I don't give a crap about that. I just like jerking his chain. Yeah, I don't either, but it, uh, well, he's no Hansel. God, we can make Hans dance at the drop. Poor, oh God, poor Hans. I'm sitting here laughing and just on the verge of tears because it's making my ribs hurt to read what he writes. I have to, after a while, I have to ignore him just because he can't breathe. <laughs> Closet liberals like the Beastie Boys. <laughs> Beastie Boys. <clears throat> hey, wow. you, want a, you want two CDs, Meister Brow? <laughs> two CDs for the price of three CDs. Just today. Today only. Good mighty moose. Hey, yeah. did you say it? Hello to everybody in the chat room. I did at the very beginning of the show. Good. Why, do you good, want to good. say hi to them again? No. Are, are no, you some no. kind of weirdo? No. No? no? Oh, okay. I, I'll say hi to uh, some people, but not uh, every, uh, as, Not every asthma, though. No, why not? Oh, asthma's cool. Yeah, so why are you picking on asthma, you big bully? Because you're a jerk. So, what's that got to do with it? <laughs> Hey, you happy knew- birthday, Grimner. I and know. Happy birthday, Beth Z. I know. They're twins, born now. Her, two- her birthday was a day or two before Grimner. I was saying they're born two decades apart in different countries, but. <laughs> and two days, I think. <laughs> two decades, you. Ah, you killed my joke, you fucker. Mm. Oh, look at. Look at. Oh, my God. Uh, Mr. Woody says, shake your rump, beastie boys. I don't. No, I, I'm i too old-fashioned for all that long hair to hippie of fag music. Oh, I thought there was a rap group. <laughs> Is it? I don't, you know, Beast, I don't, Beastie I don't Boys. know. I couldn't name you one song of the Beastie Boys, except for Shake Your Rump now, obviously. Now you've seen the, yeah, here, get down to this. And Rob Work <laughs> says, nay unto you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Grimm's talking about. No CDs, but two turntables and a microphone. He sounds like a dirty old hippie to me. I think we ought to listen to him. <laughs> he might I'll know. Fe- he might know something. I fell asleep listening to Grimm and Lucy last night. How can you sleep through that sound of Moose? You know, sorting it all out. <laughs> She the, got. She gets so sad or something. The woman has a way with describing the inadequacies of the modern day mind. Has she not? 
Uh, indeed. Why well, I, I find her commentary on the what would you call it? Hmm. The weak side of society very <laughs> enlightening. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in lightning before. It's scary. <laughs> you run into moose at three in the morning after a couple dozen beers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, nuts. That's what I was uh, and there's there's this squirrel out there. He's eating. Uh, he's well. He's going uh, back to the pile. Yeah. I got him some sunflower seeds out there. Yeah, you want two CDs? Nuts is what my question was. He's nuts. I got for the squirrel. Right, but you know, if you bribe an animal, it will do your bidding if you bribe it properly. Then you have one of those funny fucking ones that doesn't bribe. <laughs> then what do you do? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Do you I, use authority and force to coerce it to b do your bidding? <laughs> well, <laughs> if it was the right thing to do at the time, yeah. I yeah. I might have to, yeah. So you abuse squirrels? Oh. You yeah. Sick, you yeah, I mean, if, yeah. if they came in my house and yeah. wanted to make a nest in here, I'd say... Look, pal, um, <laughs> your place is in the trees, okay? <laughs> yes, I don't mind uh, you you know, won't, kicking you won't. down a little bit now and then, you know, help yeah. you out while you're on the search for nuts in the world, you know? <laughs> so, like, you know, if I climbed up your tree, uh, you know, what would you say? You know, if I wanted to build a tree house up there next to you, right? I wonder, maybe they'd pack up and go to fucking, I don't know, Texas to get away from you. Well, I mean, well, maybe if I just climbed up there and say, hey, look, buddy, I know it's your tree, but I'm just trying to get a nut. Would it be all right? Yeah, I tried to open something. Hold on. So, uh, Sock Puppet posted me up a bike, and I tried to open something, and I opened the wrong thing and gave up. Hold on a minute. So Did go ahead that? and... Yeah. Sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. How no. original of you, sir. Wait a minute. <laughs> Grimace right. is these nuts in front of each other. Oh, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay. My favorite Kanukistanian. Hey. Eh? <laughs> that, that's funny, Sock. Holy shit. Well, what is it? Uh, I missed it. It's a picture of a bike with the seat missing. <laughs> Just for you. Pump it, no. pump it, pump it. <laughs> yeah. Like that South Park episode of the It. I didn't see it. Oh, you didn't. See, oh, you don't watch South Park. I'm not a South Parky guy. You yes. know this Rick and Morty. This is like a big popular, I guess, for some while now with uh, a certain average age of uh, crowd. Yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not much of a uh, fattest. You're not. No. Why not? I, are, I like. Are to you do my too good thing. to be a fattest? Do you Pro probably yes. Oh, how and how I, do you... I like to do what other people don't do. Like what? I like to do my thing. Nobody can do my thing. Only I can do my thing. Really? That's right. And define your thing, sir. <laughs> it is what I. It is what I do. Well, I gotta admit, jumping into your socks doesn't sound like anything I want to try. So you got a point. There. Wait, you win watch this what argument. I do. Bam! Watch. watch what I do in no. chat. Okay. Look in chat. Ooh, what I do? I don't know, Poot. Bam! Breaks, breaks bad. Break bad. Yeah. That's right. That's I right. Hey, guess uh, guess who I, called me yesterday? Uh, God. No. Uh, oh, well, how many guesses do I get? This the one. Oh, was that's God. it? Well, then I don't want to hear about. All it. right, I'll give you two. <laughs> I am Kate Perry. Yeah, that's that's what I said. Sock is <laughs> that's Hansel's bike. <laughs> I forgot to say Hansel though. <laughs> It has no seat, just the just the post that you connect the seat to. I uh, and it I, reminded me of the the it from the South Park program. Yeah, so what's up with that South Park? First one I ever seen. I I did not watch South Park for a very 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 long time. Yeah. Uh, and then I was uh, my old girlfriend was over at her family's and the the that out there younger crowd had uh, Ooh, that was a younger crowd, and it yeah. was the one about Mormons matter of fact Mormons yeah dum 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 it, it's postmodernism you know that's prevalent in, it's uh, fucking sarcasm about life come on how do you yeah, take yeah. in a postmodern stance it, fuck how can you take any of the shit that goes on around you 
to any level of serious if, How you, if you can't physically touch it. What difference does it fucking make? It's yeah, all an yeah. illusion in your mind unless you can put your hands on it. I can put my hands in socks and make a sock puppet. But not my socks. And probably what not is... sock socks. I'll bet sock would say, hey, nay unto you, swine hunt. No, wait, that would be hands. What would Sox say? Get the fuck out of my socks, you filthy hippie. <laughs> I was being is, Sock for a moment, just imagining. What, what is a narrowest? Narrowest Something that's definition. narrow, that has the ability to think of like maybe a newt or a cucumber. Yeah, that's what I thought it meant. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm a long ways from a narrowest. How do you know? Because I've taken such great uh, Let me clear. Steps. All right, wait, Great wait, wait, steps wait. in this journey that I'm a, have been upon. This this voyage of exploration. Yeah, but uh, I got I got bad news. You're not gonna like this one bit. Are you sitting don't. down? I'll stand up so I can have, sit down. Have you Have you got a nice hot beverage in front of you? No. Okay. You ready for it? And I can sum this all up in one sentence, Vinny. But you're not gonna like it. I'm I might slap. You. You might slap me, but you ready for what I'm going to tell you? Yeah, I'm always ready. 99% of the people don't give a flying fuck. 99? Yeah. And I think there's about 1% of whoever we, you know, we chitter chatter to or chat type at in the text that really care one way or the other. The rest of them just having fun for a moment. And every once in a while you'll say something that'll really strike one person. They'll go, hey, that was pretty good. Define the, care. Give, give a flying fornication. Okay, then about what? Anything. About the way the world works? Or about what's happening any, in the world? Any, or? Anything, any topic... All this stuff does is takes you out of your moment and puts you in the future or the past. And makes so, you pick sides and arguments that you've got nothing to fucking do with. Well, what about dogs and cats? Dogs and like, cats? They, they know, love like, us because we feed like, them. No, no, no. Like Bob Barker, Bobs and Cats. Remember, oh. get, your, get your pets spayed or neutered. Why? Well, because of the SPCA or whoever they are. I live in Denmark. The fuck do I care about the SPCA? Well, because it affects 99% of the, percent of the people over here, doesn't it? You know what I say to the people over there is take care of your own fucking problems and leave me alone. I'm done. Well, nobody's talking Thank about you. you. We're you talking about the dogs. I, yeah. You just tried to force me to use the SPCA. You I don't even know what that is. Oh, this, what is that? It's the animal they, thing. It's like yeah, they make they make things like, up. Do they? I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't trust government or any of its agents, Vinny. Not one. Well, what about the uh, non-governmental organizations that seem to set so much of the uh, fashion of the day? Like what fashion of the day? Like the plight of the tortoise. Oh man, I feel too much. Yeah, I'm sure the people of Denmark give a flying fuck about the plight of the fucking tortoise. I was, so wait a minute. Let's get this clar clarified. Are you now identifying as a Denmarkian? No. What I'm, what I'm doing is identifying is I'm so fucking far away from wherever you are that I'll never see it again. There, it doesn't affect what America does really to this point in my life doesn't have any physical effect on me anymore. All my family's dead you know, except my brother. You so, know how wrong you are in that statement? No, I'm not wrong because I have to be willing to participate in it, and I'm not. This is the argument I've had for fi fi almost 50 years. You can't tell me what to do, and I don't care how fucking hard you hit me. I ain't going to fucking do it. There you go. And here we are, 58 years old, and still... Being threatened with the same old bullshit by the same old people from the same old but place. But you don't have to be threatened specifically for what happens in America and the uh, um, what comes forth from this empire to affect you. I have you to think allow you're safe? It, yeah. You think you're safe? Yeah. Well, not safe. I'm I'm not involved. I don't give a fuck. Safe means But that wait a minute. You, Stop. No, safe you means you want you to care. wake up. To, you say you care. Now you don't give. No, I don't. I don't care about. 
What? I care about what I can see, not what I hear. That's just bullshit and stories to occupy my mind. Can you see air? In a sense, yeah, because I can breathe, so I know it's there. It's another sense. It's just another. Yeah, if you're blind, I mean, come on, think about it. If you're blind, is there a table there? Yeah, it's still there when you touch it. I feel like we should sing a song or something. Why? Cool. We're, Some kumbaya. No, we're, uh, I thought we were arguing. We'll do it wait, like wait, 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 feet wait. with, uh, yeah, yeah, feet, uh, like touch me, turn me on. No, uh, that's disgusting. You t nah, I thought we were arguing about shit. Now we're not arguing anymore. Oh, man, I'm so sad. No, we're coming together in consensus. Oh, yeah, consolid okay. Con Rob, solidarity and difference. Yeah, Rob Work says the SPCA <laughs> kills more animals than anyone. Yeah, they collect the animals that people discard and whatnot. I, and what I've the fuck is with Mars. people that do that? Breed animals to and then not take care of them. That's kind of yeah, fucked up. That is messed up. Well, you live out in the country and you you know how animals they know how to they know when to breed. There's like a timing to it, you know, to keep their You're talking about low. wild animals, yeah. not dogs. They have, they, they all have their season. Yeah. You can't you can't but, change a dog's season by moving it from the city to the country. No, but we domesticated them into these captivities where they're dependent on us. Yeah, well, that's that's domestication. A lot that's of responsibility. Why, uh, people comes. have been domesticated. Most of us, yeah. I I hate to admit that, but yeah, I like my indoor plumbing very much. You don't see, you sense with more than your eyes. You see with your eyes, by definition. Well, fuck. Hey, here we go with official stories. You know what? Yeah. Let me I, tell you listen, something. I On my it. side, everything that I was <laughs> ever fucking taught through the education system that I went through turned out to be based on either something I already fucking knew already or a bullshit story. So I don't think that anything new ever got through to me. At all, nothing, zero. Except for that thing about the George Washington chopping down the cherry tree. I like that story. He never told a lie, Your Majesty, because he was an honest boy. What and that a, whole story was made up, right? Yeah, what a crock of shit. Who didn't lie about doing who, something fucked up when they were 14-year-old? You know? Who made that up? Probably George Washington. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hands made it up. <laughs> What's uh, did you see what he was going on about today now <laughs> uh, russia is the savior of the world no oh. it's a, a <laughs> yeah and he was saying americans are stupid and i don't get it i i'm so confused by what he writes that after a while i'm laughing so hard i gotta i gotta ignore him i'm sitting here in tears but maybe i've got a strange sense of humor See, Rob Works even agrees with me. See, because I have bad vision. So, because I got bad eyesight, my awareness levels in <clears throat> other areas are sharper because I can't see worth the fuck. But I can do other things that well make up for my lack of being able to, to see visually. So, I'm okay with it. You you sense you just can't make up words and, or change them to make mean what you want. Come on. Sure I can. I can do Look. anything I want because I feel like it. Is it is it my responsibility to know what you're meaning to say, or is it your responsibility to make me understand what you're meaning to say? I don't really think that matters. <laughs> I think you hear what you want to hear out of who you're listening to. I cannot tell a lie. Uh, here we go. You might not the want to The cherry tell, but you tree can tell. myth is the most well known and longest enduring legend about George Washington. In the original story, when Washington was six years old, he received a hatchet as a gift and damaged his father's cherry tree. When his father discovered what, had, uh, what he had done, he became angry and confronted him. Young George bravely said, I cannot tell a lie. It was that dude over there. Uh, no, I did cut it with my hatchet. Is it true? Ironically, this iconic classic about the value of honesty was invented by one of Washington's first biographers 
uh, internet minister and uh, minister and bookseller named Mason Locke Ween. <laughs> What a surprise. But now here's the other side of that coin. How do we know you didn't make it all up? You could tell I was reading it. Wow, are you saying you're not smart enough to make up a story like that? <laughs> well, I was so pretty well written for you. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were reading it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, fucking redneck. <laughs> You uneducated hillbilly, put your shoes on, boy, we're inside. I've got flip-flops on, but not the ones with the thongs in it that go between close. your toes. I yeah. can't wear them things. Really? I cannot, no, I couldn't wear thong underwear or thong uh, slippers. Wow. Why you'd even try the underwear is beyond me, but the slippers I can almost understand. <laughs> you wear I don't want to know anything about your, you know, underwear problems. Thongs, thongs, <laughs> wow. and thongs. That's, that's just cutting, cutting deep into the butt crack of life. I'm telling you, what the hell's wrong with you, sport? It, uh, Did you lose a bet floss. or what? Butt floss. Mm. Yeah. What would we bentol? <laughs> Bend over floss. <laughs> <laughs> So the Republicans don't have to work so hard to get up there. Lost nasty. You know, and I'm going to take this time to to plea with the public because you people make it really hard to control you if you don't comply. Your compliance is necessary to a point. When you don't comply, we'll comply for you. If you catch us at it, keep your mouth shut and don't Shh. tell anyone. <laughs> that, yeah, that was a public service announcement from the dork table about your privacy. Because if you think you got privacy and you're on the internet, you're either insane or gullible. Or both. What hey, is Moose? Moose Girl agreed with Vinny about something. What's the well, about, name? About what? That's Who what knows? <laughs> Who cares? She agreed with you. You should consider, wow, you're like an icon. I am being nice. Whoever agrees with Vinny about anything. Who said be nice? My wife. Oh. I don't know. She. I, she thinks, I love you, Circle. She, yeah, he loves you, Circle. He, she thinks she can talk for me because uh, she owns my Ow. paperwork. Boy, you give somebody a fucking document, man, and they think they own you. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the job description. What? Buy up bubblers. Ah, uh, he the best. I don't think I have one. You got a joint? Ah, you got one. Oh, the got we will take care of that problem momentarily because it's so, four twenty some fucking where. And you know what I think time. about? You know what I think about time, right? <laughs> no, Ain't no, no that's. Side. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely on my side, but you know what I think about it. I thought you knew. Maybe you didn't all pay around attention you. that day. It's all around you. It's all made up bullshit is what it is. I cannot think of one thing that I don't look at from a distance and just consider, wow, that was a good story. Too bad it's and, not true. And how do you explain the C squared in all the whole of the equation then, sir? How, oh, how I got... It's called the theory of relative itty because he was a fucking Jew. So, of course, they're going to oh, quote yes. him. Thank they're going to quote him over bullshit and chitter chatter that doesn't fucking mean anything and tell all the sheep it means something. They don't even have the means to disprove it doesn't mean anything. It's just chitter chatter because where does that information change your fucking day? Well, all, all kinds shit. of the information that just changed my day was uh, the fact that Moosey agreed with me about the thong underwear and <laughs> butt, the butt floss part of it. I actually got from Moose Girl in the conversation about thongs here in chat some <laughs> week or so ago. The things you learn on the real liberty <laughs> Hey, wow. did, you, did, did I tell you? Did I tell you? I got a phone call from the. Uh, Governor of Nevada's uh, campaign manager, uh, Ryan Bundy's uh, manager. Why yesterday. were they offering you work or what? 
uh, well, I, I, you know, I'm kind of in amongst. I, I don't use the, I know, the term I know. team, yeah. but yeah. you know, I'm uh, involved in the uh, the. All right, you're What's not the, saying anything. So, are you going to do something with it, or are you just bragging that you got the call? Yeah, we're probably going to do a, a interview next week. Yeah, you mentioned something about you had planned on interviewing somebody from the Bundy team. Yeah, on program it's campaign yes, manager. But your humming and the pounding and all that other shit in the background was making it hard to listen to you. Well, maybe this will work better like what? this. Thing. Well, whatever you're doing now is working. Good. Well, You sound yeah. very good. You sound like your normal self. Well, we're going with Rob and x Nang on the Sound Blaster. Okay. Thank you, uh, thank you, Flash, and thank you, Circle, for buying that for me. It well, yeah, but for... you've upgraded. Yeah, yeah, now you need to change with the times. So that's how these fuckers do us, too. They make uh -huh. a card you need for two years, and then they upgrade so that you need to buy a new card. It's fucking game. We're all being fucked equally. I'm going, I'm going back to uh, uh, Sock Puppet asshats. Oh, Mr. Woody is on a rant on the RLNM. Oh, my goodness. He has a whole lot of stuff to say about stuff. What's he talking about? I have no idea. But he says in the end, it's Who's the he meaning to? in useless. Who knows? Maybe himself. Maybe me if I could read it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. A video going over the amazing finds at the Galt Archaeological Site in Texas that produced... Clovis and pre-Clovis <laughs> artifacts Where's that the could go the back 20,000 years. Oh, you know what, on, down, down in Texas? Listen, yeah. uh, um, hmm. the, the Biloxi River, there's a place down there that got dinosaur tracks. Um, and contemporaneously, human tracks stepping over the top, so showing that dinosaur and man lived at the same time. And how do you know those are originals and they're not frauds? Because they was uh, um, documented why they were excavating it off of uh, you know the the strata separating them and uncovering it. There's also a place uh, like that I think up in Montana, and the, you know the tracks disappear up into the uh, you know the layers of rock. Well, then how? All right, yeah. You can't fake that. I you can fake anything. I saw him go to the moon. Remember. Well, you did not see him go to the moon. Well, that's what they told me they did. So when I was a little boy, saw, I was supposed to saw, believe it. You saw a televised event I did. Of, a, of a moon landing. You know, my ex-wife <laughs> went wild. Uh, uh, Neil Armstrong made that uh, footprint. Wait, she was what? Being born while Neil, oh. Neil Armstrong was making that footprint. No, should I be concerned? Well, I... I don't know. There's got to be some type of correlation in there. Why? I don't know. Because there's, wow. too, there's too much. Uh, um, some people will call it coincidence in life. I, I call it what uh, um, proper vibrational frequency. And obviously I wasn't vibrating right when I got with that gal. <laughs> no, you, maybe that's the problem is you were vibrating so right that you vibrated right off it and never went back to it. <laughs> I... That you was a, you. You were broken. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, very broken. That was the hardest thing I ever went through in life. Was she uh, broke Vinny? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, oh, it was, come on, suck it up, Buttercup. Oh, Man. that was way back then. I'm, That's what I mean. Oh, if it was now. hell, if it was yesterday, I'd have you out drinking. Well, now nah, I'm married. Now I can't do that anymore. But back in the day, it was, hey, let's go out and get drunk. How come Bra always packs picks on Chloe? She's such a nice lady. I think they're friends. Because, no. yeah, I do. You think? Yeah, I think they punk each other like me and you punk each other. I don't think it's real. I, Bra's a spy, dude. He's a closet liberal acting like he's a um, sexist. Or he's flirting with Chloe and it's not working. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Remember the remember the 10-year-old that thought pinching the girl or pulling her hair or something was uh, a way to get their attention? Some men never develop beyond that. And they, oh. they hit 30, 40, 50, and they still think pulling on that ponytail is cute. And It wasn't cute when they were 10, but hey. Oh. Can't there you go. That footprint. That made an impression. 
Yeah, yeah and then pressurize your fucking forehead with my foot. Uh -uh. Is that, that a name or does that mean seriously? Ser I don't know. S R A L Y. Seriously, yeah. He yeah. he was shortening it for your <clears throat> reading adventure. Thank you. No, yeah. you know what? Well, I'm talking about this uh, voyage of exploration. I've looked oh, at stop that. a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in this world. You know, I have my opinions, my perceptions, and I, I think they're highly is. educated. Oh, come on. Yeah, but they're all yours, Vinny. We don't have to share them to talk uh, to each other. I don't. I don't want anybody to share with. I'm. I'm greedy. Get your well, own. You mean you don't like me to like your squirrel stories? No, go get your own perceptions and things. I, I was percepting your squirrel story. All right. I liked it. I'll now, allow, I'll if you're going to be mean you. to me, I'm not going to like your squirrel story anymore. I'm going to, fuck it, I'm going to boycott your corporation. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you what, mister. Then if you go against me and my squirrel story, you're yeah. going against Grammy. <laughs> Uh-oh, that might not end well. Shut your mouth right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Is she going to get out the bar soap? <laughs> Ah, look who's flirting. Ooh, <laughs> sock puppet is pulling on the Chloe hair. Oh, my goodness. They are perhaps having the backdoor sex on the bumper of a 58 Buick. Uh -huh. Wow, that was a... I don't know. What, what was, was I way supposed past to the make first date. <laughs> I'm not 10 years old anymore. <laughs> I'm not oh, I was never one of those to, to follow the crowd anyhow. Whatever they did, I want to do something different. That didn't seem to work. Did you ever get pantsed when you was a, a kid? No. Really? But then for the first about 11 or 12 years, the only time I wore pants was at school. What did you wear? Most, swim trunks. Sw spent my time at the pool. Swimming, riding bike. And then I hit about 11 and started to change. I became a little bad guy. That early, huh? Man, left, just before I was 12, I had a really rough t year 12. I gave my parents a lot of grief. Thought I knew shit. And it turns out to this day I was right. Was you uh, trying to get attention? No, I was trying to get away. Well, I think you made it. Oh, yeah, but it, it took about a year for the events that I survive to get the grown-ups off my back so I could just be left alone because I kept leaving they'd punish me and tell me what to do and I wouldn't do it then I'd leave again did they whip you yeah well sometimes but that ended about 12 too so basically in my opinion what happened was the grown-ups backed off of me enough to make staying around them less of a threat so i finally settled down and stayed but that year i'd given up on grown-ups i thought they were all out to kill me and shit they were just fucked up something wrong with adults now i'm positive of it <laughs> now that i am one because well, when you look back and you can see all the decisions that i ever made in my whole life were based on either advice from people that knew better or the bullshit stories I got from the system. So when do you think that it was that you grew up? Oh, never. I'll never grow up. Do you still go to kids' arrest? Because I think they're going to close. No, they don't. What do you mean? Oh, taller? No, don't be stupid, Vinny. That was ridiculous. That was like a, a Hansel joke. Get serious booger you big bully making fun of my size <laughs> is that all is that all you, is that what we've been reduced to come on you can do better yes. than that yes you it's better the world of the postmodernism. light another ball and expand your freaking brain bonehead get with Listen. the program don't be don't be stuck and stupid it's lonely after a while i have to tell you something why the cherry tree was a myth Oh, yeah. What a surprise. What isn't a myth? Name something that isn't a myth. That, this is why I look around <clears throat> at this, this life that we have, this online shit, and all these countries, and all these citizens, and aliens, and all this 
bullshit and violence and war and crap. And then I go downtown to go get milk and I see little kids walking to the store or going to the train or whatever they're doing. And it's it's a dif- different world. So I can't really uh, get involved in that violent shit from the States anymore like I once did. It's lost you its uh, reality to me. Because I've been living in this peaceful place for f- over four years now. And then Scotland before it, that was quiet as hell. Are you still depressed? Uh, I never was. You wasn't depressed? No, why would I be? Well, because you were seeking happiness, and you if you're not... I don't think In I that was, space. I don't think I was seeking anything. I was just living. And life took me where, you know, life wanted me to go. And I had a, you know, decision either do it or don't do it. And I did it. And this is what I ended up doing. But looking for things. Nah, I'm Quip. still not I'm still not doing that. Don't blame me. For what? Any of it. Have you lost your... Have, are you snorting a waffle batter again? What is... Um, Vinny. It, it Earth, got caked up. Earth to Vinny. My, Come my in, razor Vinny. blade got rusty. Wow. Sock Puppet says, Bovine flatulence isn't a myth. Well, maybe not, but here they, they raise um, pigs, not beef. So I don't know what... Um, you raise beef too? Well, not like the States or South America. Come on. This is a small country, dear. I don't think there's enough cows in Denmark that really make a di- They probably don't tilt the scale one way or the other. But I'm just guessing at that one. It's a small little country. They, there's 19 states with a population bigger than Denmark. You know what would follow... On the south uh, side of a northbound cow would be a tortoise. They eat fresh poopy. They survive on it, huh? Well, not necessarily survive, but they sure uh, uh, thrive. They survive better on it. Yeah, thrive is the word we're looking for. That's how I feel about cannabis is that we were lied to about it. And we, as people, don't really know how valuable it is to your health. Mm. And then with all the bullshit stories of you know the last 80 years <clears throat> about how it's bad and horrible and all this other crap and jail and prison and possession and using all this crappy fucking shit this horrible government <clears throat> does to us. And we've sat back and as a collective and allowed it. And then these cunts have the fucking nerve to go, well, you know what we'll do? We'll make it legal now. So now... You're still under the same fucking control of it, but now we make more money off selling it to you and taxing it. But these yo-yos think they're getting some kind of great fucking deal from the government. Killed or kidnapped, certainly. Well, that's the point. If where does the freedom part come in, Vinny? Please, land of the free, home of the brave, but you go to jail for smoking a flower. Because they're trying to and look out for your greater good. It's all, oh, I fucking bet. yeah. Well, what, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I'm a, I need to do an good. experiment. Ooh. I need to do an experiment. Well, yeah. Um, in chat, mm-hmm. if you'll if you'll help me here, uh, yeah. raise your hand up, and I need you to call this number. I dropped in right now. You won't see it till uh. Well, I you see, see the number before but you're hearing I'm not me. Not calling anybody on on what? You no, know, you're you're out of. Uh, you're out of range. Listen, so I need somebody to do me a favor. Call that number and follow the instructions on the. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, when it rings the voicemail, see see what happens there. Uh, if, <laughs> Sock I just need, no listen. Grimner. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vinny. They're making jokes out of it. Good. Yes, it's not Jenny. For a good time. <laughs> yeah, six seven five three zero. This might this might call my number. Five zero one two five three five two five six. It's not buzzing yet. Maybe they don't have that automatic free phone calling all over the United States that you have. <laughs> They're too cheap to spend a dollar ninety nine a minute. Listen, I've got a two dollar a day plan on my cell phone, and this is the whole purpose of this message that uh-huh. I need to test. No, this is very serious. I, I need to see that uh, uh, it's uh, 
to uh, for the relay. And if, if that relay then works too, so yeah, yeah well, somebody, I can't. I, I can't do not that you. The, me and you are talking. You can't call me. Yeah. Yeah. See. I don't know. I'd call Ghostbusters, but I wouldn't know what to tell them if they answered. I would say eight six seven five seven nine. <laughs> Jeez, what the hell did we get into here? Well, you had to go well, into the bathroom stall uh, on yeah, the, to but get the number on the wall. I was on a rant about the unfairness of. Oh, the, I know. You're of, always frying. Come on, what's Hans going to think about you? Go up. He, he's going to flip your big boy pants. I don't. I if Hans liked me, I'd have to probably worry. I'd have to take a real good look in the mirror and figure out what was wrong with me. Anti will do it. Well, Anti can hate me too, but he's he's a Democrat. He probably thinks I'm a Republican or something. But he doesn't seem to. But Hans does. I'm a Republican. I like to go to the pub all the do time. Do you? Do you repub or do you just pub? I go back to the same old pub. That that's repubbing, all right. Yeah. Nah, let's yeah. see. When is the last? Did I even go to a bar while I was in Vegas? Wow! Hey, somebody's doing it. Thanks. Uh, uh, I hear it vibrating. Yeah. Thank somebody you has right, so turned follow, on. Follow the instructions there, and then say hello to uh, oh. to the good people here on the uh, answer machine. That well, <laughs> I, I gave up the instructions. Uh, <laughs> We're, we're going to see if this works. Because I don't actually have a phone. All my phones are broken. i got to get a phone next month. But wow. i got an old answer machine, so let's yeah. just uh, see if it works. I just plugged how, it today and changed my message on my phone yesterday. Yeah, so I got a $2 a day plan. How do but you break a phone? Then, I don't know. Uh, what, you throw it at it. a wall or something when people, you get pissed people off? People are using it when I was gone broke it. Oh, that kind of you broke it. Uh, yeah. Got it. Yeah, I had so, children. Sure. Yeah. So I have a two dollar a day plan on my cell phone because I'm not going to pay for internet and a tele home telephone, and uh, you know I don't use it. And have the need for the uh, cell phone now so much, right? There's still a contact. So we're going to see if Grimner calls through to my home phone number. I would suppose because I have no clue. You're all being all nerd techie and shit and dealing with Grimner. I gotta test things, man. I, I just, you know, I gotta know. I gotta know these things. Do is it work or not? And Grim says, "Pig shit provided the methane to power Barter Town." I okay. Where's Barter Town? What movie was that? I know. That was in Mad Max. Uh, Matt, was that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was. I'm not a big Mel Gibson fan. I think. It's like watching the same guy do the same act over and over, just in different costumes. Yeah, you know, talking about not watching things. Yeah, yeah, talking about not watching things. I didn't watch. Hey, Hannah, I didn't watch uh, Silence of the Lambs for like ten years until after it came out. One movie I've never seen is The Passion, The Passion of the Christ, or whatever it is. It's a snuff film. It's horrible. I wouldn't watch it. Well, you know what? See, I'm not like you, sir. If I'm going to call something fucked, I'm going to look at it to make sure that what it is is fucked. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to not have me an opinion about it. Well, you know? what are you going to do? They're Italians, you know? Yeah, there's lots of Italians over here where I'm a living. <laughs> yeah, Joe well, Pesci uh, lives around the fucking block there, man. And Stallone lives down the street. Yeah. Come on, Vinny. I'm out here in Danish land. Their idea of excitement is leaving me alone. (laughs) It's amazing. It's like, wow. Well, Grimner didn't call through to my, or uh, did he? Did you call through? Wow, maybe you didn't get, see? Vinny traveled many states taking, talking, and listening. Now he wants us to talk. Cowboy Tech. That's right. It's your turn. And Moose Girl even says woof woof. I have no idea why, though. This delay is really bizarre. Ah, what uh, a, oh, he left he, a message on my says, cell phone. I left a really? message yeah. <laughs> on my cell phone. Call my home phone number. Wow. I want to see if it rings. <laughs> this is a this is another train wreck provided to you by No, it's folks, not. It's Dad it's Flash fun. Co. It's fun. It's a train wreck, Vincenzo. You're a train wreck. Hey, thank you. 
that'll be an extra buck ninety nine. That's the Jew surcharge for calling me names. Call it, Graham. See if it rings. Five zero one seven four five seven four nine nine. That's right. Be and the... Just say hello to the RLM peeps on the answering machine. Be the do it, first Graham, one do it. to call and get your free, and I mean free, copy of How to Succeed with Babes. Ah, it's ringing. Let's see how many rings it takes. He's ringing. How many, ring, how many to rings this. does it take to get to this? two ringy dingies? Wow, what are we doing? This fucking phone thing. We're having fun. Wait, Vinny Graham, has oh. lost his freaking mind for real on the dork table right here in front of everybody for the world I... to see. <laughs> what do you want to fight about now, Vinny? What is your worst memory of childhood? And don't try to lie to me. I'll know. <laughs> uh, now, now, Clarice. <laughs> did I lose? Did I lose Vinny? Did I lose the show? What happened? I'm in the dark here, driving down the road, talking to myself. No, I think it says you're still here. I don't have you muted. What? Oh, that must have dis uh, disconnected the thing with the phone call. So now I'm probably cut off from Vin. Ah, there he goes. See, I have these moments of clarity. Where I actually think I know what's going on. <laughs> and then I wake up and realize, oh, I was asleep again. <sighs> wow. Wow. Uh-oh. I don't See think there? I... There he is. That was a good experiment. Oh, and I got kicked out of chat, too. Yeah, you wow. got booted I got out. Fresh. You have to everything. Kick you. Yeah, again. I guess when the phone answered or something. Wow! See you and your freaking experiments, you well, dork. Well, isn't it good that I did that? Isn't it good you're a dork on the dork table and not a dork on the freaker's ball? Why? Because then you would be out of place and wouldn't be amongst your own kind. I'm a freaker. Yeah, when you're on the freaker, but when you're here, you're fucking dark, dork. I thought you knew that. Didn't, didn't you receive my list of demands? Didn't you? Didn't you? Did, no, didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? <laughs> my list of demands was very forthright and easy to what were understand. They? What were I, they? Don't, I don't know. I'm lying to you. I don't how have much, any demands. How much is I don't it? have any demands. How much does it pay to follow demands? I don't know. Too much. You know what funds are? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about now all of a sudden, but uh, go ahead and tell me. It's above your pay grade. Oh, that's because I don't. I no longer have a pay grade. Let's see. Everything's Fuck, above I'm your pay grade. Yet. finished with all that crap. You can have all the crap. Hey, Bosco. you know what? What? In three minutes, it'll be 4.20 somewhere. Well, you know what? I'm lighting up now anyway. I don't give a shit. I don't uh, care for you. Somewhere, I don't care for your clock. I just like to light up. So when somebody Perhaps says, uh, approaching 4.20 at maybe in the Isle of Man. Somewhere who in cares? Approaching, the, approaching Great Britain. What, hey, because what matters is worldwide, buddy. Okay? <laughs> Weed <laughs> has no boundaries of time. What matters? Okay. You know what matters? The e, that equals the MC squared. The M stands for marijuana. Yeah, that, that uh, what was his name? That Einstein crap. Yeah. Well, it's one of those things, even if you can define it, and even if you do understand all the components that go into the equation, what practical use does the knowledge really have? And is it going to help you grow a cucumber any better? Or maybe what? You're going to give you a little help washing the dishes? I mean, come on. It's it's useless in my life. I don't need how it. How many how many you can have it? Can eat? How many what? Cucumbers can you eat? As few as possible. My wife could likes. You, could you eat more cucumbers or more pickles? Neither. Ugh. But uh my wife likes the cucumbers. 
So we grew some in the yard. Yeah, she grew a monster cucumbers. Yeah, you can slice them and put them in ice water. That's excellent. But she she took pictures. Uh, she had one one growing underneath the big leaves, so she didn't know it was there, and it was all misshaped. It looks like a gigantic, like a donkey dick that got bent. You're nasty. <laughs> yeah, Grimner, I huge. came through. Thanks, but it hung me up, hung up my internet. So it's good to know that up. when I'm doing radio. The yeah, phone well, starts ringing. I better uh, go unplug it real quick. What well, What was his message? Uh, he says, "If you can hear this, tell Flash to break bad." <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, yeah, you, you got to type dot. P-O-O-T. Do it. No, I don't. Because I could see it it. on the screen already. Do it. Do it. Nobody's ever done it but me. You could be the second one ever. Oh, that's... Do it. That's more reason not to. Do it. Come on. Right. See, you keep pushing. Do it. But but Hansel. But but Hansel. Do it. (laughs) Do it. Well, so are you going to kill the show for 40 minutes saying I'm do it if up. I don't do I, it? I'm hanging up. It's well, 420. It's 420 somewhere. It's 420. So, okay. And I'll just tell stories about my old days when I was the captain of the septic tank back in the World War II. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's 420 somewhere. That's <laughs> well, that's why I like to just look at all this time shit as a bunch of crap. Then I'm not responsible for 4:20 or midnight or 2 a.m. Ah, it's all this, it's all the same bullshit. Bite it in your mouth and pull the trigger. There you go. Uh, because life I... is good. <laughs> okay, so what are we gonna assign to the dot a r g r? And what? then you go like, uh, shiver me timbers, mate. How about no, that? I wasn't gonna assign anything to. I... It. I if just, you don't do it, I'm going. I'm going to ask Grim to do it. Well, then you ask Grim to do it. No, okay. see, you oh. always want me to do it. I you want. Never wait do a minute. Anything I want to do. Wow. Go duck poop. Duck now poop. you're starting to duck sound poop. like that guy on the IT program. Wow. Like, the IT crowd. It's this TV what we got. show on. It's a TV show on Netflix. Moon, but I never about seen a, it. About a bunch of nerds. You don't even know what it is. Look at that shit. Grimner Blue Moon, bud, baby. Yeah, but that's because you were busy out saving the free world from itself. Somebody had to do it. Because I think in the long run, in the overall scheme of things, probably maybe not in you know the present time, but later down the road, what you took part in at that Bundy thing will make a dent in history eventually. But yeah, there's I, a lot I of... Think so. But temporarily, because the internet is still not used properly, the people that need to know the truth are the ones that are believing the government story, as usual. We learn this time after time, but the people that follow the government story, they're impossible. They do not listen to the opposition. I got an aunt that's a, a Democrat, and... Anytime you ever say anything negative about Hillary, her immediate response is all Shut up. That. Let me stop you right there. Shut Don't you dare say a word about my darling Hillary. Yeah, it's all the Republican stories. <laughs> Lies from the Republicans to make her look bad. <laughs> and, so. and I'm sitting there just... You can't say... What do you say to a 75-year-old woman besides... Yes, Aunt Angie. So... Uh, you say, look, yo, senile woman, you shut your mouth. No, I wasn't raised like that. <clears throat> I, I only pick on males for, a, you know, the most part. Occasionally a female, but just not that rough. I'm, I'm a lot more gentle with a female than a male. We are brothers, Sock. Me and Flashes. In a sick, yeah, in a sick way because of the radio... Yes. But that's okay. But I love fuck. you, dude. I really do. Uh, everybody, everybody says that eventually because I am the light. <laughs> I am the way. I am the dork. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, listen. Uh, let me yeah. put it this way. Well, it comes from the paraphrased plagiarist. Uh, okay. You, uh, you've heard it said you love somebody for who they are. You've yeah. heard that, right? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. The paraphrased plagiarist says uh, that's not true. You love them in spite of who they are. Yeah, but I've heard both versions of that same thing. 
And, well, I yeah, made up the second one. Well, but I've heard that before because I'm well, such a difficult... Somebody knew I was going to say it. No, no believe me, the language has me. been around a lot well, longer I, than you have, you butt well, I, I Not me, the paraphrase plagiarist me, I mean. Oh, yeah, because you stole it from somebody else that stole it, from somebody yeah. else that stole it. And I stole we got... it out of my mind at first, and then maybe somebody else did it, because there's nothing new under the sun. No, but that copyright law bullshit makes people think that it's not possible for p two people on different places to have the same exact idea at the same exact time. <laughs> or maybe my 50 or 100. What's my last name? I ain't going to say it. Say it. Wilbur. Okay. Well, you, if you either say my last name or push dot poop. Dot, wow, you're just going to push me and push you me. You've got to do something I tell you today. Why? Because I'm. it's a demonstration of experiment. Well, you're doing it wrong. I no, here, no, 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 listen. First of all, mm. we can't we can't move forward until you shut up and do what I tell you, okay? Right, 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 right. I was gonna. That's what. That's what you need to learn first of all. Well, I'm not gonna comply gonna, but... or die. Oh no. Well, I'll tell you what I told Cirque's nephew. Okay, I made a fist with my right hand. He was only about eleven, so he's still a little kid, you know. And I made the fist with my hand, and I told him, "Now, if you can open the hand, then whatever you want will whatever." But of course, he can't open the hand because I'm too strong for an eleven-year-old boy. But I told him the secret to how you get me to open my hand. Is to give you something. No, 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 no. What? It's to ask nice. If you uh -huh. give me if you give me resistance and force and all that uh -huh. kind of crap, then I just clamp down tighter That's and you'll amazing. never you'll never win. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah. But I told That's the boy, amazing. if you ask me nicely, then what can I do but do what you want? Will you and would he, you, and you he put, does. Push dot poop into the chat. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. Well, if you're going to compromise, I'm going to deal with... Wait a minute, i got to click my button and I'm not typing anything. But just like the kid, you know, if if you start out on common ground... Bam, you, there it is. Yeah. Huh, but flash you, somebody you, breaks bad. <laughs> ah, ah. But see, I, I would be in Bosque. I'd just be making a demonstration. All right. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, just, yep. Yeah. Because and exactly, <laughs> there is a there's a time and a there's a time and a place to give in, and Vinny Fent figured it out. What works for me, but that doesn't mean that just because you do it, I'm going to listen. I know Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> me and Vinny got got this radio history and and shit to go back a couple years together on. So it's, it's it, been more it, than two years now. I know oh it's yeah. Been like Four, yeah, some like that. Long. How long have I been at Real Liberty Media? Grimmer? Came over all that. You came over before before you brought Hans, and Hans has been there. At, Mary was given. He was saying the same shit in, in August. In I think it was July of seventeen or sixteen that he says today. Same lines, same huh. everything. Nothing changed. But I think there really may be like two or three different Hans in the city. Oh, whatever it is, it's the funniest fucking shit you ever read. Yeah, I mean, he's. Uh, good Lord. I, I don't know if that's literally uh, uh, three different people or if that's like all in his brain. He like forgets things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. How do? You, how he's do like you really. He's like an old man or a little kid in the basement. I I ain't figured it out. Yeah, maybe it's a team. That's what I'm thinking. The team Ooh, is two people. No, oh nice. my God! It makes right. perfect sense now. They're in the basement next door, and your neighbors. Oh, listen, I'll carry yeah. the show here for about five minutes. I would need you to do me a favor. Run next door, <laughs> look in the basement window, and see what's going on. <laughs> they got no basement window. Are you sure? Maybe it's just camouflage. Well, you got a you got a shovel. They fooled listen, me. Listen, oh yeah, yeah. Always Seems prepared like to bury somebody alive. Come on. Why wouldn't I have a shovel? I carry it around town. When I go shopping, I got my shovel on my shoulder so people don't fuck with me. Do I have a shovel? Okay. If you had a rabid dog and yeah. Hans in front of you and a shovel, which one would you bury alive? Or <laughs> knock <the> head? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's, that's come on, beyond. killer. Come on, killer. <laughs> See, yeah, but I'm not Hansel, so I, I can't, I can't, I'd have to kill the dog. I'm just not that type of uh, you know, anti-human human. I even like women. Hey, look at that. Those Did you know that? You hey, like no, women? One of my many faults is, yeah, I adore women. Sure. Ain't that right, honey? Hmm? Because women's is the thing that completes us. They're they're very different from us in many, many ways. And I find that if a man can find his companionship with another man, well, please leave me alone. I've got a girl here. <laughs> we don't want to watch your weird stuff going on. But that's, you know, that's me. Other people are all right with weird stuff in their presence. Something <laughs> happened to me yesterday that I confirmed earlier today. <laughs> on a search and again re what reminded me was here is this uh, hurricane downgraded that uh, sock posted so i thought that there was no such thing as a hurricane in the pacific but turns wow. out there is but really? only in parts yes i thought hurricanes were restricted to the uh, uh Atlantic, caribbean and, and the Gulf, Atlantic. yeah, yeah. They start in africa uh -huh. but you can also have uh, two other well, i guess it's the same thing just different names so you got a hurricane and uh I wouldn't think that that uh, in the areas where they claim this name a usage, Hawaii would have fit in it to it. I thought it would have been a cyclone or a uh, a typhoon. I mean, so there's like way down in the South Pacific. I guess they get cyclones. Better look this up to Why? make sure on this. But there's well, not you specifically, but the listener. So there's hurricanes, cyclones, oh. and typhoons in the Pacific. So yesterday I was wrong and I said there's no such thing as a hurricane. Oh, in the okay. Pacific in that the they Pacific, were saying yeah. it's going to hit yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. yeah, I would have expected that would have been uh, a typhoon. Wow. Right. I mean, here we go. With the the people that teach us this crap are usually telling us partial truths, or maybe the foundation is true, but all the details are bullshit. So I I don't know what to make of any of it anymore. Who cares what you call a disaster? It's a fucking disaster. Well, why not just say disaster then? A disaster. A disaster. Maybe is it a doesn't sell. Away. It doesn't sell enough insurance and Coca Cola, unless you're specific about what the disaster is. You got to give people a choice. You know, if you they know don't what? have a choice, then they're stuck in pigeonholed. I have and, got a great uh, idea. What? A venture. Capital uh, venture. You're going to buy a senator and move to Chicago? No. Let's oh. let's uh, get like a cruise boat and we'll sell hurricane uh, holidays. And we'll like float Too right late. into the... Nah, this guy already did that on the YouTube. He was giving away free trips to Africa on oh. a boat. But nobody would get on the boat and go to Africa in it. What was it called? The Amazing... Uh, the amazing something. The no. amazing racist. Yeah. The amazing racist. racist. Yeah, and he was funny as hell. And he's just insulting the whatever race he picked on. He picked on his own race, but this, the guy was funny. He went into a, a mm. black, a black owned store, carrying a cross, a big KK cross, and looking for um, a lighter. <laughs> So he could plant his, his cross and light it on fire. <laughs> About drove the poor guy nuts. That was at the store. Wow. Then when he went to take his his uh, KKK suit to go get dry cleaned at the black owned dry cleaner, that guy got really pissed off. <laughs> oh, jeez. Huh. Hmm. The amazing race. Hey, so I'm humored by sick you things. Go. You tell me. You tell me that you're not humored by sick things. Spreaker no, needs to I'm be reconnected not. to Facebook. Okay, that's you and Grim, right? Yes. I, I don't do the Facebook. I got banned off of Facebook so long ago. I got banned before it was cool to be banned off it. Ooh, look at that. That's neat, so. Yeah, I missed all that praise and cool shit for you know. Hey, they were going, "Hey, you're so pitiful." They kicked you off Facebook. 
<laughs> three years went by and hey wait a minute everybody's getting kicked off facebook now <laughs> turns out i was just ahead of the curve i i got put in time out once or twice but yeah but i went full-blown argument with a a, a religious nutter over pot really yeah, the son of a bitch had the nerve to, oh, pot is evil and the devil's lettuce and all this kind of, you know, negative horse shit. And I told him to stuff it up his fucking religious nutter ass, basically. And wow. The next thing I know, I got this like 30 days or something. They tell you, you can't, you know, open your... And then when a time came up, I deleted the whole fucking account and said, fuck yeah. all you people. Yeah. It's still there. You know that it's still there, right? I, I don't know. I don't yeah. want to know. I don't. All you gotta care. do is open it. And I don't want to open it. I don't want any connection, willing connection to Facebook. Fuck it. If people want to find me, they got Skype and RLM other shit to use to do it. It's not impossible to find people on the internet. Think about it. So you know, there you go. But Facebook, please. No, I'll pass on that. I don't like being told how to talk there, Vincent. You like know a, what I mean? Pass like a quarterback. Well, I, if I'm treated decently, I'll I'll be decent. I think I re, I'm a reactionary type of speaker, not a... Uh, I'm a defensive player, not an aggressive player. You know, when you crack my wheel and I get pissed off, then, ah, there it's, it's everywhere. I'm like a madman saying words. Oh, stop me. I'm saying something sarcastic. Help, help. <laughs> like any of this shit <clears throat> fucking matters. This is the part that really cracks me up, right? Is here I am. I've got 58 years of memories and shit that's gone on. And if the only thing that occupies my mind is that Hansel thinks that the voters have saved the world by making pot legal, well, then I would be the one that had the problem, not Hansel. <clears throat> Do you think he really believes all the stuff he says? I don't really give a fuck if he believes it. It's just because, what he says. What because, difference does it make? Because it doesn't make any difference in the end game. That's because. It doesn't make any difference what you <clears throat> think to me it just happens that me and you agree about most of this shit in the beginning so I, there's no, i think he just likes to jerk people's change change probably yeah but he's hey, such uh, a he's such a rude cunt it's just hard to read his crap every day I, it I gets old I don't never a nice word always nasty and insulting and rude it's it's old i'm tired two years of that shit fuck you up. hey we're gonna do another experiment here Hey, you want to do the ten word game with me that I did with okay. Mary? In a minute, but wait. Uh, wait. I write down ten words. Hold on a minute. Yeah. We're, do we're doing an experiment. Yeah. Let's see, let's see if it works. Okay. Can you can you hear me? Okay, good. I can see. hear you. I, I'm gonna. I'm waiting for this thing to quit spinning. I went to uh, uh, one of the uh, video I posted, so I don't have to worry about any copyright. All right. I hear okay. it playing. I don't hear anything playing. Um, you hear nope. it? Nothing. No. Really? Well, I hear Sick. a voice vaguely in the background, and that's uh, about it. Yeah. See, that... Uh, all right, let me kill it. There we go. All right, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I could play a YouTube through the uh, Sound Blaster, but uh, I guess I can Why still would, hook up... On, and the, on the radio? Yeah, on uh, Compilation. I don't, I don't want to do that. Not on here. Don't start doing all that copyright crap and get me in shit with my program. You I don't know. That wasn't do it on your own that problem. That was my video that I put up. That's not I don't know. Yeah. You drive me crazy with all your geek talk about computers and stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. What uh, what hands does IRL proves he's a believer. What's IRL? IRL. Yeah. Uh, I probably typo I I R C, the mm -hmm. internet you know the chat thing uh, right? So eh, I typo okay. all the time. People figure it. Yeah. Or, Socks no wait no. Stuff. Oh no. Yeah. Cirque says in real life proves he's a believer. Oh, see there. Yeah. But and, he won't he yeah. won't do anything more than type about what he does. There's no proof. It's all just story talk and bullshit. 
No, nothing real about it. At least we we get on here and do the radio. So even if we're not honest, we're at least doing f something that can you know be judged by your senses, not just by what we tell you to believe. You know, because I think your your sincerity level and your honesty levels come across in your pitch and your tone and what you talk about and how you speak and. That negative crap he puts up every day just gets on my fucking nerves. Yeah, I'm not about any negativity. I oh, when I get negative, Lord. I laugh at it. I overpower negative with my positive any t any day. But I'm a very negative kind of fellow. Yeah, but I make you laugh sometimes. <laughs> Absol absolute. Well, you know, like I told, like I told Cirque's nephew, if you're just decent to me about stuff, you know, I won't. Why would I ever say no to you? You know. If you need something, you just tell me you're going to go get it and go get it. I don't need to hold your hand. And this is when he was like 12, getting axes. and sh I'm going to sharpen it. Oh, yeah, go do it. He, but he wanted me to know what he was doing before he did it. Not permission-wise, but just to let me know where he was going to be and what he was going to do. All right. Well, I thought a lot of that because most kids his age were quite the opposite. Sneaky and... Uh, act as suspicious and everything they wanted to do they couldn't do because you weren't going to let them that american safety shit just went to fucking squat boy they, uh, they overdid uh, it things i did as a kid you know a parent be put in jail for today i read that every american is guilty of three felonies a day in a court of admiralty right now at any given time what kind of dorks are you? Uh, not dorky enough. I, I think they don't know what a dork is. A dork's not a nerd. No, no, no. Dorks, dorks are um, socially. I guess the way we we would put it, we're we're the ones that don't fit in. Nerds are smart. Dorks are awkward, and we all got that being pushed out of the thing because we wouldn't give in to their fucking nonsense that's what makes dorks dorks and if you don't fall into that then doesn't suit you there, ah, there you go thank, thank maybe you, you're a nerd maybe you would need to switch to stereo mix on your sound properties to, uh -huh. to hear what you hear thank you socks is smart guy oh Grimner burned himself on his hot, hot, hot coffee. Oh, no. Are we having internet problems? I, uh, People are burning their self with internet coffee? Coffee sounds good. <laughs> I'm like, I'll make me some here. In a little bit. I had a I had a cup this morning. I went down. Uh, the lady that lives down, uh, she's at home all day until her uh, daughter gets home. And they don't even get TV or nothing. She sits there and watches these same old tapes of... Uh, TV over and over. So I go down and visit her almost every day. We'll sit with her for a while. She's uh, uh, her family is you know I'm kind of like been taken in by their family a long time ago. I'm like part of the family in a sense, uh, like like a redheaded stepchild mostly. Ooh, like when I was. <laughs> yeah, uh, <I> love, <laughs> love them dearly. I really do. Grimner and says it's, dorks, gooks, nerds, dweebs. Hansels. <laughs> in that order? Hey, geeks. He made, yeah, he mistyped geeks. Yeah, Hansels Weeks. at the end. Well, I, I don't think there's two of them, actually. You know, nah, that's that's one guy being funny. There's no other, or trying to be funny. or. Well, he doesn't have a very good memory because he asked me questions that he already should have the answer to uh, in spades. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I've noticed that. Always asking you to re re say the same thing or post yeah, uh, post you just got posted and whatever. Come on, it's a hustle. It's a way to keep us yeah. arguing about exactly. Stuff yeah, it's a game for him. Like don't like Trump. Who gives a flying fuck? Huh. I, I try to tell you when you argue with me, you dumbass. I don't it, like Trump. Don't tell me who I like. like. Okay, buddy. I'm not saying who you like. I'm saying well, don't. you take this don't. shit don't. as seriously as you choose to, you dork. Anyway, a game. We only got 15 minutes left. All right, let's play a game of 10 words. I okay, this with Mary but a couple first, times. I got a rule to add into this game. A rule? Oh, yeah. You, fucking you can only be wearing thongs in only one pair. 
it's on your butter on your feet. So that's all you can be wearing. What are you? Uh, what are you choosing? I'm taking my underwear off. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes, sock. <laughs> this boy's off his noodle today. All right, and the game will begin. And the first word in my ten-word game is, and it's not like opposites or just whatever you think is funny or whatever you come up with. Right? Ready? All right. Tick tock, tick tock. Global. Warming. Wow, that was quick. Yeah. You're faster than Miss Mary. You know that? Miss Mary takes her time to find something. And it's not like to fit. She just thinks words through for some reason. She's getting better. Ready for this word? Yeah. I have a word that's it's not really even a real word. Poxophone. Poxified. <laughs> wow. You're fast, too. Wow. What am I to do with you, Vinny? Okay. And word... Number three is whole. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> I was going to go with the word in front of it. <laughs> That's why I paused. I was going to say asshole right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't. Okay. And word number four on the word 10 word challenge is front. Back. <laughs> Back, he says. And we'll proceed on to word number five is bad. Good. Ah, now you're just doing opposites. No, it just first one to come to my mind. Yeah, well, maybe you're more normal than we ever thought you were. <laughs> Let's word hope. number six today is forever. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And Zox puppets want to know if we're going to go over. <laughs> I ain't answering any of that crazy shit. All right. Word <laughs> number seven is conditions. Conditions are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Conditionals are, um, I got to stop. Yeah, you. yeah ooh, conditions. Ooh, ooh. Conditions are conditional. That's what I was trying to bring. Conditional. That's yeah. weird. Conditions are conditional. Yeah. How bit a psychiatrist would just pick you apart with this shit and call you all kinds of horrible names? Oh, put I still got to take a hedonistic test. Put you on some kind of medication to slow you down. Oh, good. And word number eight oh, crap. is folk. Fork? Folk. F-O-L-K. Folk. Oh, folk music. Ah, music. Well, you just seem pretty normal. Wow, Mary comes up with way weirder shit than you do. And word number nine is dorky. <laughs> That's me and you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. That's weird. Okay. And the final, <laughs> I don't know why I picked this word, but it was on the screen. <laughs> the final and tenth word of the ten word challenge is squat. Right here. <laughs> wow. Right. <laughs> I can use two words, right? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't put a limit on that. I wrote down what you what you said. And wow. <clears throat> oh, so you? I get judged now? At, yeah, at, I'm like a psychiatrist. Give me a nickel, and I'll tell you what it all means. Uh, no, I don't know. I just make shit up like everybody else. Think I'm. Uh, I've learned something. You know. Come on, it's all bullshit. You just. You'll figure it out. If you haven't figured it out yet, eventually, someday, there's hope, and you'll go, oh, wow, this is all bullshit, and I'm, it's all in my mind. But we're not really um, taught how to do that. I think it's something you learn. Did uh, Are you going to give me the results? Of what? Of your 10? Yeah. There are no results. <laughs> it's just something I wanted to I, I do it with Mary. I thought I'd try it with you. Mary's more fun. <laughs> All right, I got one for you. You're, 
Uh oh. I'm not okay, going to tell at, you what it is. You just answer at, true or false. Okay, but we're at 49, so. That's okay. Yeah. You have a vote. Don't you worry, your little. So. Okay. All right, Adolf. Are you ready? True or false? I, I, yes, I'm ready. I am very ready. I am extremely organized. I am extremely and totally hey, you, ready listen, to do you this. Now listen to the full question. I am extremely organized and carefully follow daily routines. True or false? You? You. Me. Oh, no. False. No. Okay. I am quiet and enjoy observing the world around me from a distance. Well, sometimes, yeah. Not true always, false. though. It's Depends on true. my mood. True or false? Well, it's true, but not true. A hundred. Nothing's 100%. We're, we're, but, we're, yeah, I, okay, I do true, like false. my... Yeah, true. True, true, true. I want to make am, it difficult I for you. I am almost always optimistic, even when others may be upset. No. Fall. Uh, no. False. I am considered a people person. <laughs> False. <laughs> I am an objective, logical thinker who solves problems through proven facts and numbers. Uh, False. I have often trouble understanding the opposite sex. False. <clears throat> I am sensitive and care what others say and think about me. False. I have many acquaintances who uh, know me, but uh, uh, but not many close friends. True. <clears throat> I would. Uh, I'll be over in a minute. Who's pinging me? I would. Uh, uh, what? I would be. I would be <laughs> attractive. I would being attractive and have sex sex often are top priority. Already for me. False. And so being attractive and having sex is not a priority? No. They're pinging the piss out of me over there. I am hard on myself and focus on my negative qualities, sometimes feeling inadequate and uh, false. guilty for not being better. False, I, false, I brush false, false. off my mistakes easily. <laughs> Why yeah. waste time worrying? True. <clears throat> Uh, I am more interested in a long, devoted relationship than meaningless flings. True. <clears throat> I have a few close friends that spend most of my time with. True. I can relate fairly, uh, fairly well with the opposite sex. True. I am a subjective empathic thinker who can sense what others are feeling around me true you can feel what other people are feeling sometimes yeah you know? i know yeah i know anger and i know um welcoming and you know there's different levels <laughs> sure i am considered a lunar i mean a loner <laughs> true Purpose. yeah true uh, i am pessimistic even when others may be enthusiastic false uh, I am, I am talkative and enjoying being in or close to the center of the action. Mm, true. Uh, I am uh, often spontaneous and widely avoid set schedules. True. All right, let's get your score. Uh oh, not my score. Yeah. I just answered a bunch of questions. Is yes, all. you. Oh you my God. You're not going to like this at all. I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, it's somebody else's opinion of my answers. Oh, I don't even know what it is. Let's see what it is. Your score is 65%. Of what? What? I thought this was a hedonist test. Yeah, I should be. Well, yeah, because I would be more of a hedonist than a narcissist. Well, I thought that's what I was doing. Yeah, you were. And the being sympathetic to other people's uh, input. Well, what kind of stupid answers have they given here? Listen to this. Yeah. All right. I'll just read them. You are smarter than average, it says. And you peg the high side of that. So the scores are uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's six marks that you can get across here to 100%. Uh, not your area of expertise. You know a little about this. You are somewhat knowledgeable. You are smarter than average. That's where you hand it landed and you are what you are very well informed and uh, wow you're a genius about this topic what the hell's the topic 
I thought I it was a know. test. To be a hedonist, I don't know. Pleasure-driven hedonist. I don't understand this. They messed you up. You got scammed, bucko, and we I'm got pleasant. five minutes to I'm, clean I'm, up and I'm say clean. goodbye and tell everybody <laughs> what's coming at us. Um, let me catch up to chat real quick. Yes. Five minutes. Hold on just a minute. I'm holding on. I'm holding on to my wife. I got a leg. I got a string uh, underwear bikini. Oh, that. Are you still stuck on that shit, the thong thing? Oh, no, yeah. they are. I'm re I was way past that. Uh, the corgi well, likes to bark at the chickens. <laughs> but no see, prize. Then, yes, you, you get a prize. Loose, then the dogs go, ah! And Moose Thanks. Girl said it was all cute. Oh. Wow. Anyway. I'm pretty cool, man. I can uh, turn a, a snake into a blanket. Uh, lucky you. Versatile individual normally for exploration. I have fits. I don't know what you're sure. talking about. In the you chat. Can do it all. In the chat room. I, I don't <laughs> know. They're talking about corgi dogs on the bottom of the chat. <laughs> Okay, so tomorrow, Blim, uh, Grimner's blowing the blues. In the, that's right. That starts at uh, 11 o'clock my time, which is that's 10 o'clock right. his time. Which oh, is did you ever? Did you ever check? Did you ever check out Catfish Cooley on YouTube? Oh, I didn't. I'll do that. Well, see, you lazy. Okay, fine. I will. I, I you would be will. so informed if you saw Catfish Cooley that you would know all the answers, hmm. and we would. Probably never even want to talk on the radio again. <laughs> sounds pretty, pretty sad. He sounds very sad. So, Grimner, he joke. blows the blues while we play trivia right here <clears throat> in the Real Liberty Media. <laughs> dot com chat room. Yes, that's right. Come along and see how big your, uh, let's see, what does Circle call it? A ball bag or a ball sack? Uh, ball sack. What, ball sack. What are you talking That's your brain. About? It's what they call the brain over there where you're at. <laughs> uh, is that what they call it? Yeah. As uh, flat. As uh, <laughs> uh, And Why don't so, chickens wear underwear? Their peckers are on I, their face. I can ask circle. I don't want to ask circle. All right. We'll just say ball sack then. No. Yes. Don't. So. Test your ball sack tomorrow at reallibertymedia.com. <laughs> In the trivia game, why Grimner plays blues for three hours. He's good. <laughs> hey, he's really good at that game, too. Fast fucking typer. You know? But fast. We got smart people over here. I yeah, hate playing it because they're faster than me. Yeah, I always but like it doesn't to win. stop me. Yeah, well, so fuck. It's fun to play, but even yeah. when you when you think about it, though, when when five of us have answered the question right <clears> in the first in four seconds or whatever of each other, that's not bad. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You know, so uh, so your typing skills are superior. <laughs> okay, so after after we play <laughs> games and uh, listen to some blues, at uh, yeah. then at, what? Uh, Tell uh, us what happens, Uncle Vinny. <laughs> At noon o'clock on the left coast comes Hal Anthony from Hal behind Anthony. the woodshed. Behind oh, the that's woodshed. Uh, yeah, noon o'clock on the left coast. Noon o'clock on the left coast. Yeah, so that's um, an hour Hal later Anthony. in New Mexico. And that oh, yeah. makes it at uh, 2 o'clock my time in two the land of Ozarkians. And 3 o'clock. Um, and I'm going to do a I'm gonna do a I'm going to do a dork table at on Tuesdays at nine, my time, which is two and Archie Land time. I, I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, prank call. Prank call. Yeah, I'm gonna make up a brand new uh, Skype name. Oh, then how will I know? I'll send you a friend request. Then how will you crank me if I know it's you? Wow. Oh. See, you should have been smart. You, should, you like, should have played along with that. You, yeah, you should have been like John McCain or John Kerry. One uh, of the Johns. This is, that uh, uh, well, I didn't tell you who I'm going to be. You'll just have hey, to accept it and not know. You know, whenever Henry Kissinger comes by, I, I just, wow. 
I'm in awe. He's so wonderful. <laughs> yeah, he's great. He's like so, the Hillary Clinton of men, you know? Well, Grammy's going to follow up the next day behind you at 6 o'clock. And Yo, the Grammy! Yeah, that's right. In the, the rocket land, chair. The land of Kansas in the rocket chair. In the rocket chair. That's right. And then back to Friday. Uh, yeah. I'll be on at noon central, 1 o'clock Whoa, on the East Coast. noon central. Thank you, Moosey. Yep. Yeah. And followed by yeah, the rocket chair again at 6 in Kansas. And... The freak is uh, all y'all. Eleven o'clock. Thanks mm. everybody Ten, you know, for playing with us on my the time. dark table train wreck show. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. All right. We're out of here, Charlie. I'm gonna go look him no, up. No, catfish coolie. Oh, coolie. Coolie. Yeah, like C O O L E Y or oh. or Y, one or the other. It'll bring it up once you write. I know cool. Charlie. Catfish Charlie. No, no, no. This guy, you will laugh. You'll be texting me about it after you hear it. See ya. Peace. Thanks.